if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 6. Lights out. Survival difficulty. Pending. Safety undetermined. Unsecured. Presence of entities undetermined. Level 6 is the 7th level of the back rooms. Description. Very little is known about the actual structure of level 6, as the level is shrouded in total and complete darkness. Absolutely no light permeates the level, and light sources brought into the level have no function. Navigation of level 6 is carried out by feeling one's way through the darkness, which has revealed that the level is comprised of a seemingly endless series of tight hallways made of a smooth, cold material, likely concrete. In addition to being permanently dark, level 6 is also eerily silent, akin to a soundproof room. To explore level 6 is to subject oneself to a slow journey through complete darkness, total silence, and utter isolation. As such, most people who have spent more than a few minutes in level 6 have reported feelings of paranoia, dread, anxiety, and rising tension due to the unknowable nature of what may lie in the darkness around them. Several witnesses have also reported occasional auditory hallucinations such as scuttling sounds, breathing, or whispering. Those who have spent extended time in level 6 recall feeling as though they were the only ones unable to see. Level 6 is largely regarded as one of the most dangerous early levels in the back rooms. However, investigations have shown that as of now, no entities have been found on this level. Citation needed. Despite this, few people seem to leave level 6. The reason for this is unknown. Bases, outposts, and communities. The world's quietest room. An outpost only rumored to exist. The world's quietest room is supposedly an unspecified hallway in level 6, occupied by a single person. Citation needed. Who claims to have discovered a light switch. Any attempts to talk to this person have been unsuccessful, as they continuously beg any onlookers to flip the switch. Any wanderers who discover this outpost, if it exists, are advised not to flip the light switch. Mimicry A community of around four people who claim to have adapted to Level 6's darkness. Each of these four unknown individuals has proven to be able to mimic any sound they hear perfectly, including voices. This community is to be avoided as much as possible. They have become aware of the threat they pose. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 6 can be accessed through the boiler room in level 5. Any other entrances have yet to be discovered. Explorers are advised to use the boiler room as a base of operations and to make frequent return missions. Exits Exploring deep enough into level 6 can lead to a stairwell down to level 7. The easiest way to find this stairwell is to listen for the faint sound of waves. Taking a wrong turn at an indeterminate point in the level may block off access to level 7 and, indeed, the entrance back to level 5. Proceed with caution. Archives Notes left outside the entrance to level 6. A couple of days ago, I saw someone rush out of the entrance to level 6. Well, the rush is a strong word. He limped. His left eye was missing, he was clutching his chest, and one of his legs was clearly broken horribly and trailing blood. He looked like he shouldn't have been alive, and from the sound of what he was saying, he didn't think so either. He said he'd been attacked. That much was obvious, but the nature of what attacked him was particularly unnerving to me. Whatever it was, it screamed at him to get away from it before pinning him to the ground and clawing at him. He said it felt like human fingers. He said it sounded like a human voice. I don't know where he is now. Some MEG operatives whisked him away to get his wounds treated. Maybe he lived. 
maybe he didn't. But seeing that guy come out of that level in that shape, I still think about it. There aren't supposed to be any entities, right? So picture this. You're in a dark room, can't see, there's no noise. Hell, you don't even know what it's made out of. Imagine you're in there for a while, say, five hours. And every so often you hear a little noise, like something's moving nearby. Wouldn't you start wondering what's going on? What might be going on around you that you don't know about? Wouldn't it start to eat at you a little after a while? Then by hour five, what would you do if something bumped into you? Even if it was a person, you wouldn't know that, would you? You wouldn't stop to consider what it might be. Rationality went out the window at hour three. You just need to survive. And maybe you'd walk away from it all, not knowing what horrible things you'd done in that darkness. Level six isn't dangerous because there's something there. It's dangerous because there's nothing there. Citation needed. <laughs>